Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you my latest purchase. It is the Milwaukee 230 mil cut-off saw. I bought this because basically, you know what's happened at work, I don't have a cutter. So I thought to get myself a new cutter, I was looking at still saws. The only problem with still saws is the price, they're really expensive, brand new. Um, Husqvarna, still. Uh, different brands out there but they're all really expensive and they run on fuel so the price of fuel isn't really doing it for me so I thought I'd buy a battery one I already run Milwaukee stuff you can see I've got Milwaukee stuff over here over uh, Milwaukee radio power tools that's what I that that's what I run anyway and I think they're great so I've got a battery cut off saw 230 mil how much is this 441 pound from screw fix that gets you the unit bare then you have to buy 12 amp hour battery now i got the unit from screw fix and i bought this 12 amp hour battery from sgs engineering online uh, that was 160 pound so this along with the unit you're looking at 600 quid slide this in there correctly Oh, that's why it goes in that way. So cover that up. That stops any dirt and debris and stuff going in there to the battery. It's one key protected. So this is for security. You can get in a mobile app. That'll do, um, it'll show you all the maintenance, side the progress, stuff like that, whatever. Uh, coming up for services, not services. I'll tell you exactly what it, what it does. It says, Online rec online mobile and record keeping sync wirelessly it's a smart tool track your location uh, your tools location if lost so it's got GPS in it as well um, view tool usage and performance and track towards upcoming maintenance so yeah pretty good um, it's got your water attachment straight on the back normal clip open and close standard so that's good. Uh, I didn't realize I didn't think it came with a blade, but it does come with a blade Comes with the Milwaukee DUH 230 Check the bore size the bore size on this if you're gonna buy your own I went out and actually bought my own disc because I didn't realize it came with a disc. This is a Mark Christ 22.2 um, that's what you're after, 20.2.23 this says, but you want 22.2 uh, for this bore diameter. That was 45 quid. If this blade's no good, then I'll be giving this one a crack. Also, the sound difference, listen to how, how noisy this is. Let me just show you this little switch. This little safety switch, you flick it forward. Now that ain't nowhere near as loud as a still saw and it stops a hell of a lot quicker. Just over three seconds to get it stopped. That is one hell of a tool. I like the look of it. Don't know how long the batteries last. Uh, couldn't give you any performance. There is, just on top here, there's a light that beacons. If you're putting too much load on it, then you can pull off it tells you so you don't warp your blades and stuff and all around i think that's good so for 600 quid with a blade that's a good price uh 85 mil cutting depth so you'll get nearly through a brick but not quite same as a ts410 that doesn't quite get through a full brick either um you'd have to go up to a ts4 420 to get through a full brick that's a still saw uh 350 mil blade but then again price of your blades goes up price of the unit goes up um and this you never have to refuel so you think about how many times you're gonna have to refuel yours this doesn't get refueled um and it's got a three-year manufacture warranty so for three years anything goes wrong with this it's going straight back to milwaukee let's show you these two little features uh for getting the blade on and off allen key goes in the back side over here that goes in there and then your tool 
is housed in the back. Your little spanner, taking the nut off. That locks in there, you can feel it. You just press it in. Anti-clockwise, and that comes off. I'm gonna try my other blade in actually. See if that goes in. I know that this blade's really snug because I've already had it off and on. Take the ring off. That's really snug. Let's see what the difference is between this Mark Rice blade. Let's try that in. Yeah, that's absolutely. That's got a tiny. No, that's all right, those. Perfect. So, either or, Mark Christ or the Milwaukee. That one feels a lot more heavy duty though. But there we go. It's just the same as any, any still saw to change the blade. There we go, straight down. Need the spanner and you don't need the allen key in the back i always just do it hand hand tight anyway same as i would any other cutting tool allen key goes straight in the back of there again and then that pops right in the back nice little arrangement and that's that This does lean forward and backwards, I'd imagine. Oh, that's that's all the movement you get on it, though. It goes from there to there, so there isn't really much movement in that, but the how light it is, unbelievably light. Like this says, 5.4 kilograms. With the battery and you can't hold it quite with... It's pretty light. It's a lot lighter than any other any other one I've used before so if you've enjoyed this video give us a thumbs up if you're not subscribed to the channel subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell and you'll always be notified every time I upload a video cheers have a good weekend